Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so we're in fall, and fall is my absolute favorite time of year. I love makeup, and I love the fashion. I love everything about fall. If it's gonna be fall all year round, I would take it. My most favorite part of fall is the vampy glam. And I know a lot of people are terrified to wear a dark lip. I get it, it's bold, it's out there, it's not your everyday normal looking kind of lip. I love wearing black, I love wearing dark purple, I love wearing dark brown. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you how to create an eye look that doesn't overpower the lip when you wanna do something bold. So we're still gonna do some drama on the eye, but it's gonna be more of like a soft glam to complement the lip. So if you're interested in seeing how to wear a dark lipstick well, complimenting it with eye makeup is what I'm trying to say. Please keep watching. Uh, I've applied all my face makeup off camera. I wanted to kind of speed this video up. Everything will be listed down below in the description bar, everything on my face. So to get into this video, first we're gonna prime the eye with Benefit Stay Don't Stray Eye Primer. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that on my eyes and just pat it in with my finger. Okay, so to create my eye look today, I'm going in with something super basic, super simple. So I'm gonna be using the NYX Highlight and Contour Palette. Okay, so first I'm taking a Quo all over eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna dip into this shade right here, which is the second shade in the palette. It has more, it's not as frosty, it's more of like a setting shade. It still gives you a highlight, but it's not like frosted. So that's really nice. Okay, so next up I'm taking a NYX, this is a crease brush, and all I'm gonna do is I'm going to go in with this shade right here. It's like a taupey brown shade, no shimmer. And I'm just going to buff that into the crease and start to blend it. And no joke, this is pretty much all you have to do for the eyeshadow. Other than the bottom lid, you're almost complete. That That's just going with an easy method here today. I do this a lot. If I'm in a rush and I just know that I don't have time to kind of put together some like crazy look, this is kind of like my go-to thing to do. Also taking a Nude by Nature little smudging brush and I'm taking the exact same shade. I'm just smudging that underneath the lower lash line. Okay, so next I'm taking a MAC 216 brush. It's a little bit more tapered. I'm gonna go in with the darkest shade in this little palette here. I'm gonna go in with this one. And I'm just working that in the socket of the crease, just to give it a tiny bit more definition. Okay, so then I'm taking this Nude by Nature. This is their concealer brush. I'm taking that guy. Spraying it with some of my Dermablend uh, Power Setter. And then I'm dipping into the frosted lightest shade in the highlight and contour palette. And I'm just going to work that on the bottom lid. I'm also taking a little bit of that white shade and I'm gonna put it right in the tear duct. Then I can go back in with my more tapered brush. I add a little bit of that darker um, contour color back on the brush and I like to go back just kind of into the socket just to create a little bit of an extra, you know, definition there. Okay, so next I like to curl the lashes. So I'm taking my Shiseido eyelash curler and giving them a curl. Next I'm taking a new eyeliner that I've never tried before, so I don't know if that's gonna be a mistake or what, but it's black. And this is the Lorac Front of the Line Pro Pencil. So I'm gonna take that. We're gonna start to work this into the upper part of my eye here. Then I'm gonna start to draw a line up on my lid. I don't want anything harsh. The reason why I didn't use a liquid because the liquid is so precise and it's very like stark. So I want it to be a little bit more blended, a little bit softer. I'm also gonna take some of this eyeliner as well on this little Benefit. It's an eyebrow kind of precise brush. Really like doing a wing with eyeliner like this just because you get a little bit more of a smudged out look. I'm actually nervous about using this eyeliner but this is working amazingly for this. It's very creamy. So it's smudging out nice. I find that uh, I really love using the Lise Watche ones, but they're a little bit more waxy, so they're harder to kind of do something like this. So this one is working perfectly. I'm also gonna take this as well, right into the corner of my eye. Now I'm gonna repeat that on the other eye. That eyeliner 
is so easy to use, so beautiful. Like one of probably gonna be one of my favorite eyeliners, especially to create a wing. Like I that was a simple, I'm pretty good at creating wing, but this one just made my life ten times easier. So amazing, amazing. So I, I created some sort of cat eye look. I brought the liner into the inner eye, but I didn't take it all the way over. So what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna mix in a little bit of this Marc Jacobs, it's my favorite um, pencil right now. It's called Pink of Me, starting on the outer corner. And connecting it to the black that we have. So I'm kind of mixing them together so they're creating a little bit of a gray in the middle and then fading out to like a lighter pink. This helps kind of open the eye, it still keeps it fresh without being too smoky and harsh for the lip. You can smoke out the bottom lash line a little bit more. So I'm gonna take a tiny bit of that dark brown shade we used with my same little nude by nature kind of smudging brush. And I'm just going to focus that on the very outside of the bottom. Just right here to kind of connect it to the black liner. Next, I'm going to apply a little bit of mascara because I'm going to do some lashes, nothing dramatic. But I'm going to go in with the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Uncensored Mascara. I really like this. This is new. You do not have to apply fake eyelashes. You could actually just go in with a great coat of mascara and call it a day. I love this mascara. It's so good. If you're looking for a great drugstore mascara, this one's brand new. It just hit the drugstore and it's just beautiful. It makes your lashes really like separated, plus long, gives it volume, really great mascara. So next I'm going to go in with a pair of Quo eyelashes and to be honest with you, I don't know the style. Probably 806. I'm going to go with 806 maybe. Don't really know. Sorry. Okay, so I just applied the lashes, applied some mascara kind of to blend them together. Then I'm going to go in with a little bit of my uh, Skinny Mascara by Annabelle here. So we're going to go in, add a little bit of that to the lower lash line. Okay, so for my lip liner, I'm going to go in with MAC. This is the shade Night Moth. So we're going to go in and use that to line the lips. It's like a dark kind of purple. Then I have a Rimmel one, which looks awesome. I haven't used it yet. It's called Salty. It's more on the brown side, I think. I really like these lipsticks. These are the um, Lasting Finish Extreme because they kind of, they're matte, but not like super matte. They kind of, they do transfer, but uh, they're not, they're very comfortable, but they last all day. This color is really nice. It has a brown undertone to it. Okay, so here you have it. Your vampy lip with your like soft glam eye. This is my creation. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, your biggest problem you're going to have all day with this look is not to get this lipstick onto your teeth. It's a problem. Also, do not be that person that talks to somebody and sees stuff on their teeth or their face and don't tell them. I hate that. I hate that. Tell the person. Because if you don't tell the person and then they see that they were talking to you with shit all over their face, you're very questionable to them now. You're very questionable. If you found this video helpful and if you liked it, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.